Heidi was a little girl who lived in the Swiss Alps with her grandfather. She loved the mountains, the fresh air, and the sound of the goat's bells. One day, she received a letter from her Aunt Deed who asked Heidi to come and live with her in a big city to learn English. Heidi was excited but a bit nervous as well. She had never been to a city before and didn't know any English. With her grandfather's encouragement, she packed her bag and set off on the journey. When Heidi arrived in the city, everything was new and different. The streets were busy, the buildings were tall, and people spoke a language she couldn't understand. Aunt Deet welcomed her warmly and promised that Heidi would soon learn English. Every day, Heidi attended a language school where Miss Smith, her kind teacher, taught her new words and phrases. Heidi made friends at the school, including a boy named Peter who was also from the countryside and learning English. Together, they practiced speaking, reading, and writing. One day, Miss Smith announced a storytelling contest. Heidi wanted to participate but was unsure about her English. Peter encouraged her, saying, You can do it, Heidi. Heidi decided to tell a story about her life in the Alps. She practiced day and night, learning how to describe the mountains, the goats, and her lovely grandfather. On the day of the contest, she stood nervously in front of her classmates and began her story. This is the story of my home in the Alps, she started. As she spoke, her confidence grew. Her classmates listened intently, fascinated by her tale. When she finished, the room erupted in applause. Miss Smith smiled and said, Well done, Heidi. You have learned so much. Heidi felt proud and happy. She realized that learning English was not just about memorizing words, but also about sharing her world with others. From that day on, Heidi continued to excel in her studies. She sent letters to her grandfather in English, telling him about her adventures in the city. And whenever she missed the Alps, she would close her eyes and tell herself stories, knowing that no matter where she went or what language she spoke, her home would always be with her.